air feeding the baby bird. It's rather like trying to keep hope alive. That sounds so pretentious, doesn't it, God? Are you there, God? It's me and Connie. You can listen in too, Satan. Why not? No one ever said the devil wasn't a good listener. You know, you know, I had to try and save him. It's stupid and foolish. It's like everything I've done to this point. Start over, my friends keep saying. Pray about your choices, about why you keep coming back to this place, this same damn place. Sorry. I think there'll be more cussing, so... Sorry, God. Though why you should care about our language, I mean, I would think you would care more if we were killing old people for fun or profit or if we slapped our dogs or if we laughed at the suffering and pain of others. Maybe you do. But here I am, trying to care for baby birds. Blackbirds or robins, I'm not sure. You can't tell without the feathers on. And the syringe. You seem to be eating and pooping. And I keep them warm. I was at such a bad point yesterday. I was bleeding. I was bleeding from the inside. I'm uh, wondering what was the purpose of this life I've had. Silly! It's to care for baby birds. Oh, I promise I won't get all maudlin. I love that word. Maudlin. Not enough of maudlin. I promise to be all strong and heroic. After all, I decided not to kill myself. Babies to look after. At least, at least until they die. I'm pinning my life on fragile hearts and transparent bodies. One who already died. I died last night. Just a cold little crumbled thing. One of their teeth peeped for their food. I've been saying for a while now, if this happens, I won't cut my wrist. If that happens, I won't swallow a gallon of Tylenol. I'm trying to declare bankruptcy. I can't afford it. Isn't it ironic? Can there be a higher, more cut, and clearer irony than that? I can't afford my own bankruptcy. $700. And it's so embarrassing. I just want this all to be over. To rest. To have some sort of numbness. To float. Out of resilience, lung out. I sit down to rewrite my resume to apply for jobs, jobs that already have a thousand applicants apiece, and wonder why am I doing this again? Why am I bothering? Maybe I should become a nurse. I always need nurses, I don't need failed poets. I should probably write this all down in some masturbatory rhyming couplet. I can read it at my funeral. I can cremate it. It's cheaper than a real burial. I'm 
know that was cremated because it was cheaper. She would have been fine with the cremation. I'm not being nasty. Poor people have to be practical about costs and above all else because a single penny can touch you three ways of sideways nowadays. <laughs> See? I told you there'd be more cussing. But, uh, what's stopping me? Is this picture of my dad finding me? Not so much anymore. Not so much since yesterday. I was sure the dying, it would be easy. I always pictured so easy in movies and on TV. But real life, they don't show the cleanup, the what to wear to the funeral decisions, the coffin versus burning room. Finding the body itself. Would be my dad or my brother who found me. And I don't want that. So maybe I should go for a long drive. A one way drive, maybe to Nevada where they have millions of hotels. And just check in, not check out. I get those Roach Hotel commercials. These two remaining birds die. Maybe I should consider a road trip. But life is precious, right? But we know better, huh, big boy? And why are you a guy, Satan? Not a woman. Women are very rebellious and have to be trained like vicious Dobermans to behave. I can see the woman totally starting to fight with the boss up there. Getting all cranky and snotty and riling up the other angels. Okay, it's probably why I don't have a husband and three snot smeared rugrats, huh? I'm pretty bitchy myself. Obedience to God, big zero. I've been in the church in what? Years? How did that person serve? I love singing the carols. Those old, beautiful carols. I wonder if that's what birds sing all day long. The birds who sing, not the ones who scream and scold. The warbler. Uh, those other birds that sing. I wonder if they sing happy to be alive and hear carols. the cat kills them. Yeah. No cat today, no killing, no claws, just birds singing hymns or carols. Happy thoughts. Trying to have some happy thoughts. Be all positive and brave and have that can-do fucking, fucking, fucking spirit. Wow. I'm just so angry. That's it. Oh, that's a good big poop. Hold <laughs> it down. Good little bird. What a good little bird. You see, God? I'm trying to work on my karma. I know that's like a pagan thing, I think, from India or China. I'm not sure. I've been to school and everything, you don't know that. But the golden rule, right? 
karma, right? Do you want the others? Try and try to be a good person. Not be mean. Work, pay my bills, take care of myself. Not spit on children or kick dogs or run over bicyclists, though it's so tempting, right, when they ride right down the middle of the road and they're silly too tight outfits. I mean, come on. Don't you want to just smash them with your car, then laugh at them, then back up and run over them again? <laughs> Maybe that's just me. <laughs> karma. I was talking about karma. What would my karma be if I took a gallon of flour? Corny, I can hear you say in your Sean Connery voice. I imagine you got a voice like Sean Connery, and that the devil has a voice like Cary Grant. Don't ask why, that's just what I hear in my head. Connery, says God. It was going to get better the very next day. <laughs> you were going to get a job interview. You are going to get published in some vastly important New York poet magazine. And you are going to win the lottery. Many millions. And be able to pay your bankruptcy lawyer. If you had just waited a day. Only a day. <laughs> I've been waiting for the good things to happen for years now. I've been patient. I act nice, I send out resumes, I go out of my way for my friends when I can. Is that why I never get anywhere? Because I wait? Because I try to be as small as possible, not make any noise? I even write polite poems about nature and waterfalls. Nothing profound. I'm not profound. At all. I never let myself be. I write pretty shallow poems to please everyone and they please no one. So I drown in debt, I take jobs that eat my soul, and I. I. Let's be honest, it's just us three. I wish I had died at birth. Because this is far, far harder to get up every day and not face things than, than being a soccer mom with the Down syndrome baby. So I take care of baby birds, my dad knocked out of their nest. Yeah. I'm too old to care about this. I should be all grown by now and be all indifferent to everything but my credit report. life in school, working crappy jobs, and waiting for the mail, or lately the emails that don't get sent, or the emails that say, sorry, we don't want your shallow crap, good luck not being a writer ever. Don't you wish rejection letters were honest? Like the editors would just say, plainly, once and for all, you can't write, try marine biology, or dead animal removal, I hear they're always hiring. So I'd love to get that rejection letter. Is it time to stop hoping, wishing, being, dreaming? I can stop all of that crap. It'd be so nice. 
this being in limbo all the time, waiting for dreams to come true? It's cruel. Believe in your dreams. Hang in there. Someday it'll happen, my friends keep saying. They have houses and lives. They have money in the bank and go on vacation. They have children. Don't even have grandchildren by now. I have Nothing to show. No awards. No college teaching position just until my book gets published. Crap. I didn't mean to get on this job. I need to get on model. I'd be homeless right now if my dad hadn't let me come home. Birds can make new homes every year. You can get new babies every year. What a relief. Everything new every year. The memory of their dead, not even a blip in their tiny head. My memory of that magpie attack that destroyed all but one egg. My memory of that cat that ate that one baby bird that fell out of the nest and hopped about the lawn so comically. Comically, until that neighbor cat came along and killed it. Or the mother bird squawked and wept and dove at that cat's head. My memory is that at all. I wish I had that sort of memory. Where nothing sticks. Where nothing can make me so unhappy and angry I want to pound nails through my heart. Unless, of course, you're an owl. They don't grow from the dark. They see very well. I watch Animal Planet. I watch a lot of TV now. I have a job. If these birds die, they die. I'll write a poem. I'll call it Death of the Bird and the Death of the Bad Poet. Maybe just dead birds, dead broad. <laughs> and, and when I print it out, I'll do glitter along the edges. Draw stars in the white spaces to make it look extra special. And I'll hang it on my wall where I can read it every day. Instead of living in some castle, writing the life and times of Lord Byron, sipping tea and eating cucumber sandwiches and hot Cheetos, even a great, fabulous poet like me would still like those hot Cheetos. I mean, damn. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> For giving that idea to someone? Not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> they make my bad tooth hurt. And I have to take a leave every time I eat them. But life is pain. And in the end, it's all worth it, right? <laughs>
Is that the lesson I'm supposed to take away for today? I honestly want to know. What lesson am I not learning that I have to keep failing over and over? What lesson is that? Lost your God. I'm just lost. I couldn't let those stupid, ugly, needy, ugly babies die. Not like that. Kicking and peeping on the barn floor, growing cold and starving, abandoned as if they didn't matter. They mattered to their mother. They matter surely to you. I think even Satan likes the birds. They do poop all over everything and piss people off. They wake you up at five and that pisses people off. <laughs> that must be pleasing to you, right, Satan? The ability of birds to piss off lazy, clean people. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be funny. Make light of looking down the barrel of a bottle of pills, of facing I will never be anything terrific. That people are making fun of me in my dreams. That they're calling me a failure and worse. That my own father my face just yesterday. Just yesterday. There are words that clang about in your heart. Like your own father calling you a waste of skin. And he said it under his breath so I almost didn't hear it, but like, but like he wanted me to hear it. Waste. Since he's a farmer, that's a giant sin. Everything has to have a use, a purpose, a function. He lets the dogs, his dogs, kill rabbits and fox babies. He encourages it. Because rabbits and foxes can plug up pipes and damage things. I get it. I totally get it. <laughs> he sees me in the same light as an unwanted useless rabbit. Except he can't sick the dogs on me. And, and I try and fight that belief. Because it's in me. It's in my very bones that I should have been ordinary. Should have been a cheerleader and a mother at 20. That I should have never, ever tried to write or draw or reach. That I should have. I should have been sensible, and dull, and not care so much when baby birds get knocked out of their nest.
Is it peaceful when you die? I think it is. I think it's when you finally stop waiting. When you can stop being so tired. When you stop trying to save dying baby bird. When you stop sending off submissions and stop expecting great things. When you can just stop all that crap. Amen. Yeah, I don't want to give up. I'm stronger than this. I'm stronger than this push in my head to kill myself. I'm stronger than this stupid, awful, crippling depression that has lived in me since I was 13. Stronger than this. But not if they die. When they die, I'm still here. That has got to count for something. Baby birds die. Some of them live and they learn to fly. They don't care about being well thought of by their own dad. Maybe that's it. To not care. To look into that sky and not care at all how big it is. Every moment could be your last. So why not fly and eat worms and build that nest year after year? I can start over. It's just having to rebuild, right? And laughing. Seeing how funny this all is, this mopey dopey moment. All the mopey dopey humiliating crappy moments. That life is a string of uncooked macaroni on a double strand of sewing thread. Not even spray painted gold. Some people have strings of expensive pearls for wives, but not me. I have macaroni and selling thread. And I hate it. I hate it. I want the pearls. I want the pearls and the awards, and I want my dad crushed beneath his own fucking tractor the way he crushed me. The way he crushed me. Only one left now. Only one. So I hope that it lives. The last little bird. I bet it dies. I'm so tired of hoping. I'm so tired.
been waiting for this last one to die is too much. And if it lives, If, 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 if. Goodbye. Goodbye. for a one-way trip to Nevada. Will it be all pitchforks and little demon baby birds pecking at my feet? Or Satan? Waste of skin. I guess it got modeling after all.